Welcome to Life Ray DXP Basics. You'll be building your first front end project in this module. There's a few key takeaways, and this includes learning the tools and frameworks commonly used for front end development in Life Ray DXP. You also learn how to set up a front end development environment, and you'll be able to see that through the exercise we'll be doing. And then you'll also understand the fundamentals of Life Ray user interface architecture. So, for the exercise contained at the end of this module, Firstly, you need Java JDK or the Java Development Kit, and you can download it at this link below. This is for JDK 8. If you don't already have Java installed on your machine, you'll also need to set an environment variable called Java underscore home in all caps. And you can Google how to set Java underscore home variable, and this will show up on Google. And then you'll also need the unzipped module exercise folders in the following folder structure. If you're on a Windows machine, you'll put this in the LifeRay folder in your C drive. And if you're on a Unix-based system, you'll put this within the LifeRay folder in your user home directory. Well, let's examine our use case. We're going to be following company Livingston Hotels and Resorts. For this front-end exercise, we'll be considering three teams primarily. First, the web team. And they are responsible for implementing branding and functionality or the ideal user experience for customers and employees. And so we can think of these people as presenting the page with all of its applications and interactions to the end user. Then you have the design team, and the design team is responsible for producing mockups for web developers. So you can think of them as creating the visual presentations to be implemented. And lastly, we have the web developers. So these are responsible for implementing the mockups provided by design team, and they will be using front-end technologies they might be familiar with, like NPM, Yaleman, or React, and so on. What is the benefit of using LifeRay's front-end framework? We'll get to see that this will increase user engagement for front-end design, and then it will also decrease front-end development time. If you increase user engagement with front-end design, you're more likely to retain visitors on your site. Um, you might encourage purchases, so this is a plus. And then if you decrease front-end development time, you're decreasing costs. Adding custom branding to the LifeRay platform. For our custom branding, we'll have a few requirements. So each site will need its own branding, and this will control things like the following. Logos, fonts, color schemes, you also want the sites to be responsive or follow a responsive framework, meaning that this can be viewed on different screen sizes. You can resize the screen and it will be okay. You'll want the page and content presentation to be there. And you'll also want different JavaScript widgets or functionality to craft the best user experience. And so this will allow the user to interact with the site. So we're thinking about front end development on LifeRay DXP. And LifeRay has three primary ways of creating stylistic changes on the platform. The first is modules. This includes themes, layout templates, and JavaScript modules for global look and feel changes. And then this also includes templates, including specific customization options for content, assets, and widgets. And lastly, the third way is through fragments. And this includes the ability to create the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript sections and components of any page. First is the module level that we were talking about. So this includes themes and layout templates. And themes and layout templates, they are modules that give developers the ability to one, customize the global look and feel of a site, or two, change the layout of widget pages. And so with modules, you have a lot of flexibility, a lot of power at your hands, alter global looks and customizations of your site. Then you have web content and widgets, and these are within the template class. So creating web content templates, this will allow developers to provide the presentation of the content in different ways. And then here's a list of widgets that can be customized with different widget display templates. And so you might use Asset Publisher a lot. Uh, blogs are pretty common. You also might use Sitemap or Navigation a lot, but these are just some of the many widgets that can be customized. And then we have the page fragments, and this includes sections and components. The page fragments, they're reusable page sections and components. They are reused and used on widget pages along with other assets, and they are used in the creation of content pages. And so you might think of a search bar. You want this on every page in your site, but maybe not in the same place on each page of the site. 
And so you'll put the search part in a page fragment and with all of its functionality, then you can reuse that however you want on the different pages in your site. Then we also have fragments being created in two different ways. First, you can create them on the platform using the page fragment UI and site administration, or you can use the Liferay fragments generator. So now let's check. Liferay has three primary ways of creating stylistic changes on the platform. And these are the modules, templates, and the fragments. There's also front end modules that provide global styling and page layout controls. And these are the themes and layouts. Front end templates include a number of options, web content templates, and widget display templates. And finally, page fragments are reusable sections and components of a site page.